Hello, this is uh, Thomas Scrip from Frictional Games and uh, I'm gonna show a little bit about how the script works in the current engine. Um, so, to do this, I'm just gonna show here, um, all the script what we're uh, using it for is for adding and changing uh, gameplay uh, things. So uh, here's the game and here's the player jumping. So say I want the player to jump higher, I can just get back here and I can change this uh, jump con jump duration constant to a uh, hundred times more the current value and go back to the game and instantly I get a higher jump. Uh, what's so cool about this is that I don't even have to press a button or anything to reload the script, it just does it automatically for me. Um, there's a checkbox here which reloads script at the task switch and that's uh, um, basically if you uncheck that you need to press some button. Um, so whatever behavior you want for that, but uh, right, uh, the way it is now is really easy. So I can just do like this, switch back to the old uh, uh, constant and now the player jumps uh, normal height. Um, so next I can do is that I can add some error here so you can see that as well. Um, save that and then when I bring it up see it compiled and it uh, expected some kind of identifier at that line. So uh, go back, change that uh, line back to how it was no error anymore, everything working nicely. This sort of error handling also works when there's some exception in the code, so I'm just gonna scroll down a bit here and add this code. What this code does is that it uh, creates an uninitialized uh, pointer or handle as it's called in AngelScript, and I call a, fun a method um, in this um, handle. So I'm gonna save that and uh, back here and see when I jump there's an error here so let's say and it's an exception error. So I can bring up the error list here which saves the hundred last errors and then I can see here on line 215 there was an exception and let's see the player still jumped um, but uh, what it does is that as soon as it uh, um, uh, checks this, uh, runs this line, it's just, there's an error there and it aborts the code. Um, so that's very efficient. So we'll, now I just go back with the change and uh, no, no, I forgot to save. The, oh, sorry. So save, <laughs> that's the only thing I need to do. And now uh, the exception is gone. Um, so that's basically it. Um, the very basics of this scripting system is that it allows for this very rapid uh, um, iterations uh, that you've seen here. If I'm even uh, if if I weren't talking, doing it, uh, doing this in normal C++ code would have taken a lot longer. Um, uh, because I had to recompile and restart the game of every of these and I had to use the debugger to find uh, out where the crash was and so on. So all those things are really really uh, helpful for uh, increasing the speed at which you can do things and uh, makes it more fun and intuitive to try out your IDs.